Welcome to Sketchbook Fury, the Art Ninja's Guidebook. I'm Graham Smith, and this is episode four. We're going to be answering the question, how do you take an idea from your sketchbook and develop it to its best possible form and create a commercially printed project? This one's going to turn into an arcade game. This game is going to be huge when it's done. It's going to be like 12 feet across. Let me show you all the steps it takes to do this. I'm going to show you how I drew it in my sketchbook, how we developed many sketches. Refine the sketches. Did an intermediary step blowing them up. A final inking. How we colored them up. The very first next thing I do is I jump into the sketchbook and I start drawing out their idea. So, you know, so it's a pretty magical moment. It's, the, it's my favorite part of the, uh, of the project. Sketching the ideas out lets you explore all the what-if scenarios of the idea. What if his arms were bigger? What if his legs were really skinny? What if he had hair and a giant mustache? Um, you, you do quick sketches to explore these options. Quick little, quick little things and you'll look at it to see if you like it. You know that feeling when you finish a piece and it's good but you look at it and then you see something that you want to fix after it's done, but it's too late. The sketching and the pre-visualization saves you from that. You make all your mistakes and adjustments and fix everything when it's a little tiny drawing that, you're, that can be easily moved around. You can have many drawings to consider before we spend all of the effort to move to a final only to discover some fatal flaw. That's what your sketches are for. That they're just the rough idea. It's the first time the idea is being born. Those are your little seedlings. They have to be nurtured and developed. You know, redrawn, fixed up, moved around to be just right. So by the time you get to your selected sketch, after you've been through many choices already, and you end up with your selected sketch, you can be confident in the fact that it's a good one. It's you know, one chosen from many. You, know, you look at the rough and you imagine how you can improve it.
So there's a number of steps I have to make to enlarge it to that. And then I do clean line work on top of them. It's too big for one sheet of paper, so I have to put it on two and I assemble it together, um, you know, with tape real quick. So what I'm just gonna go now in red and make a few corrections. Why did I just say it like that? You can use a, um, a window or a glass table with a lamp under it or, um, or tracing paper. Ready to go. Now we'll take that sketch and I'll put it over here. Tape the sketch onto the back of a um, piece of Strathmore drawing paper and I do the inking. Take the sketch. Tape it to the back of your paper. Make sure and put the tape somewhere you're not going to draw. All right, here we go. So in this case, I'm going to use a brush pen because it goes down nice and fast, has a nice consistent line. It'll also, on this combination of paper, on this Strathmore sketch paper, if I let the ink dry out a little bit, it gets a nice little dry brush effect too. So we know that, uh, so it'll convey that hand done look. Now the drawing is all figured out. You figured out how the fingers, how big the fingers are gonna be, what kind of outfit he's wearing, all of that. Then at the next level is execution. That's where we do our very best line work and we really, um, you know, we're creating the final art. So in this part, we don't have to figure everything out. We're, simply, we're performing our craftsmanship of uh, creating you know, the, uh, the line artwork.
the light box allows me to see through the sketch and through the thick paper. So I can just ink right on top of it. I don't have to have a pencil line under there that's gonna mess up, you know, the surface of the paper, make it um, bumpy or wrinkly or anything like that. chosen one that you really like, um, you can proceed with confidence in finishing that because you know all the little things about it are right that you've been fixed up in the little sketches. Um, so, um, scan that into the computer and color it in digitally and enlarge it to the size um, that it's going to, that it's eventually going to be. This, so that face up there behind me is the face of the guy we did and that's at a, that's at a quarter scale. So the real one is four times as big as that.